Hello everyone, welcome back to Spellatons. I'm Zinker, he's Derek. We're the Spellatons playing Pumpkin Jack. Derek is complaining about work. Uh, he, he, he's getting a half an hour lunch break. The girl had to take it like an hour and a half in. Can't she do it legally? Not what? normally. Oh. No, yes, it has to be in the middle. It, it doesn't. Uh, in the middle isn't very isn't really specified, but not at least from the definitions I saw. But I'm sure it probably is somewhere. It's, uh, for Connecticut, it is. Regardless, an hour and a half definitely isn't. It's, it's uh, it, for Connecticut. Well, it could be if it's like a four-hour shift, but like, you don't have to give a half an hour. Um, Connecticut. It's scheduled for an eight-hour shift. For Connecticut, it is uh, two hours. Uh, it has to be two hours after you've gone and two hours before you leave. So, uh, we are, uh, we are, uh, I should mention also, the three of us were also scheduled for an eight-hour, an eight-hour, eight-hour shift. Uh, so, he, his, and, like, I, I, but basically his plan was, alright, so she'll take her break at, uh, 4.30. Uh, then, when she gets back, you'll go an hour into my break. Uh, take my half hour. Then when I get back, uh, the the girl who's coming in at five will take her break uh, at half an hour into her shift. What? Uh, and then he's gonna send. Uh, or actually, half. I think he was gonna send the the uh, the other girl home while I was on my break. Uh, Basically three hours into her shift. Or sorry, no, two hours into her shift. She was going, but he was going to send her home. And then when I got, or then when the other girl got back, he was planning on sending me home. So I was going, he was planning on sending me home, like basically like two hours. You got, like you got to give, you two, gotta hours, start giving you, two hours in my shift. The fuck, oh, the, like, uh, Apple um, is an hour and a half in. Uh, Great. Uh, when is she getting sent home? Uh. App, uh, Apple with a bed two hours into her shift. When she got sent home? When, it's when he was gonna send her home. Either like two, between like two and three hours into her shift is when he planned to send her home. Okay. And then he planned to send me home about just about two or three hours into my shift. Okay. Um, someone, first off, someone should have been called off. Right. Um, they had I I asked something earlier uh, when I got there uh, uh, if it was busy in the morning because uh, I could based off some signs I saw when I walked in it looked like it was busy earlier in the day and they got dead and she said uh, it died around one uh, it died off around one so they had plenty of time to call they could have called me off if they had enough time yeah. or they definitely could have called off Five o'clock. Right. Uh, we'll call five o'clock, Nana. Okay. She came in at five o'clock. Took I, her I, half I, an hour. At like. So, what happened was, uh, at five. Yeah. He came up to me and he's like, "Hey, you take you take your break." Okay. Uh, Apple was back from her. Banana uh, had just came in, so I thought, uh, 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 because before that I was the only person there, so I couldn't, I wasn't gonna like go from, go like. Just so the audience like, is aware, I'm imagining them, Derek as kind of like a pair right now. Uh, <laughs> sure, why? Not. Um, but like I couldn't go bitch to him uh, while, while while Apple was on break because I was the only person there, and I knew this was gonna take a while. Okay. This guy is a temporary manager who manages a different restaurant in the, the establishment. Right. Uh, he's there temporarily uh, because the, the restaurant he manages isn't reopened yet. I see. And they're, I think we are low of super, like, low on staff too, just all around. Gotcha. So he's temporary managing, uh, but he doesn't know anything about the place he's managing. Right. He doesn't know much about it. Oh, it's forcing me in the slow-mo state? That's uh, he's also a, a... He's also, like, super in, like, incel. He's super incel, you said? 
dude, Fuck. he's like, he's like one of the most garbage humans I've ever seen in my life. Uh, wow, all of there. in his restaurant, all of the wait staff is female, and there's and the, there's definitely a reason for that. Yeah, uh, I've heard him like I've talked about like hiring people, and like he's, he, I, I've heard him basically say like he hired like a male for the server. Yeah. Uh, he's, Thank he's uh he's like a super he's a huge asshole. He's, like, he's seen the rest of the planet. Uh, Huge ego, you know that kind of that kind. Of thing. Yeah. Okay. I didn't so think you were make that. that he, so at five, so at, at five o'clock, he comes up to me. And he's like, "Hey, go on your break." And I flat out said, "I'm not going on my break right now." Yeah. Okay. I said, "I, I, I ate, I ate not, like an hour and a half before that okay, to to come in." Right. Because I eat right before I come in. I don't expect to take my break an hour late after getting there. I expect to take my break in the middle of my break, like I like the law demands I do. Yeah. Wait. Uh, so <laughs> when when did you end up leaving? By the way, out of curiosity. Leaving that day. Yeah. Um. I left at eight thirty. And you got in at uh, one because I came in. Uh, okay. I left four and a half hours. Ah, uh, I was scheduled for eight hours to leave at midnight. Um, the reason I left so late in the first place is because I argued with him in the office for 22 minutes about how bullshit all this shit it was about sending us about only giving us about only giving us half hours because the, the, we're we're supposed to get 45 minutes by New York State long. Um, he, he is allowed to shorten it to 30 minutes out of necessity, as in, like, it's crazy busy and he can't afford to have us gone for 45 minutes. Uh, okay. he, his reasoning for, for sending us, giving us shorter breaks was because he wants to send us home early because he's trying to save money. Mm -hmm. uh, and while I understand from a business standpoint, you want to save money, you have to understand from a business standpoint, but also from a business standpoint, that you need to that like your employees need to still have rights too and you have to well, you, your employees you know you can't just, you can't just push your employees around like that to save some money so okay so question to confirm yes. uh do you have you have paid breaks right we have paid breaks yes and he tried to tell me you know you guys get paid breaks uh, uh that's a that's a that's a benefit that we offer you uh, to which i said uh Yes, but if I'm supposed to get an hour, uh, because as I was advertised when I started working here, that I get an hour, um, as do all of the other departments here, because I know the other departments and I work security, and I know they all get half, they get two half hours. Free. But you're, you're, wait, wait, uh, Derek, 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 Derek. No, I don't think you have any legal bounds for this. I don't have any legal bounds, but I have, I have bounds of, I have bounds of, like, I'm, basically I'm being lied to by my employee. Uh, um, you're being, you're being, also, sent, you're being sent home early. I'm not saying, Zinker, I'm not saying, I, I, I looked at this in every app I can, and the only thing I could, I found that he did wrong, that, uh, that he did, what well, was possibly legally wrong, was, uh, uh, by making it, or making, trying to make us take our break so early into our shift. Well, no, uh, I, well, is, that, 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 that's the thing, though, Derek. I, I don't even think yes. he did that, uh, because uh, you're you're owed a half an hour break. Um, yes. From uh, if you work like eight hours by Connecticut state law. Like yeah, we couldn't make you. I was scheduled for eight hours, and I, think I was scheduled for eight hours, I, I and, I was, and if it picked up, if it picked up, he had no he, he had no guarantee he was going to be able to send me home early. But then that would have been illegal. That he he would have been forced to send you home early. Or technically, he should have been forced to send you home early at that point. He could keep you. If it's by Connecticut State Law, I can't speak for New York because I don't know. But if it's by Connecticut State Law, he wouldn't. Uh, he wouldn't be able to keep you past seven and a half hours. But here's the deal: like, uh, if he, if you weren't getting paid for this, uh, sure, uh, I, I could, I could see. Being Why does it make it different if I'm getting paid? For 
Well, because Derek, you're, it, it's not like sure you eat you eat at a you ate before you came, but in this situation, you're just getting a paid break. Like you're, you're like you're getting a paid I'm break. Thinking, that I'm getting a paid break in place of a yes, but I'm yes, but I'm getting yes, but I'm also not getting a I'm not getting an unpaid break at that satisfies the, the, the like the just because it's paid doesn't mean they can they can so what I would and what I was trying to get at him is get at with him too is uh, I understand the paid break but if you're taking if you're taking uh, a lot of away a lot of benefit of the break away from me it's it's not a ba paid break it's just I'm being it's just me being paid to do my job without a break. But you you so but you're only there four hours. No, you're... I was supposed to be there for eight. He was going to shorten that. And he told he told you ahead of time he was going to shorten it, though, right? That's what he said. He told me he was he told me he was going to send me home early after I got there. So for my day that was scheduled for eight hours. You were you were gonna be there. So you, you knew you knew you were leaving early. Yes. This man. Uh, after I got there. Uh, uh, this uh, so uh, he made you take your paid half an hour. Well, you're, you're supposed to get an hour, but he reduced it to a half an hour, uh, which he does not. It's supposed to. It's supposed to legally be 45 minutes. Legally be 45 which minutes. Be well, no, we're not. We're not done 30. because it's supposed to be legally 45 minutes if you work a certain amount of hours, which you did not work. You were at three and a half hours, correct? He was assuming. He was assuming uh, that he was gonna send you, but you, 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 you can't, you can't, you can't speak as if like you got sent home three and a half hours in. You know, they didn't make you work uh, eight hours about taking the proper four and a half hours. So, and if you, if you were, if you weren't getting paid, uh, that they can't make you take a lunch and make you take like an unpaid break like that. Just speaking, but uh, in this situation, it's, it's less so. That you got a lunch, like I mean, what you got was uh, your lunch why break. Is it, or, why, well, I'm not. I'm why trying to explain it. You're, you're interrupting. Uh, you, you got, you got like you did. It, it's not really a break. You're getting paid to do nothing, essentially. That that's how I describe is it. it. You're, you're just getting a break that they don't have to give you. That they're just giving. They you. have to give me a break. Why? If you're only working three and a half hours. Well, New York law, you might have to get like a 15 or something. Uh, under such circumstances. Connecticut, there's no such law for whatever fucking reason. Uh, so when we get 15s, which are paid 15s, it's out of the kindness of our hearts, usually. Um, kindness, I say, but there's a lot of breaks there. Uh, you're in this case getting a paid 30, um, and just being made to take that paid 30, I guess. Uh, it's a I'm not arguing to, I'm arguing. I'm not. I told you. I don't believe there's anything that he did illegal other than just not making or making me take it far the only, in the middle of my break. To, to, to put Derek in my in my perspective, the only thing I would possibly be upset about situation is that I'm getting sent home early and losing money. Uh, even with the reduced break, I, I wouldn't even. I don't even think I'd be remotely upset if I was okay leaving early. Keep in mind too, he was he was he was still setting up another employee to take their their break half or half an hour into their eight hour shift that they were guaranteed to have because no one was coming in because uh, no one was coming in until uh, no one was coming in until five and a half hours into their shift but they were at least going to be there for a six hour shift. I, it's so. I... It's so weird. So like, I'm trying. I'm trying to figure out though why this dude is going so early with the dirty and stuff. That's so weird. It's because it's because he was trying to send people out as fast as possible, and he had to give us. He had to give us some break. He has to give. A, he had to give at least thirty minutes. And you can't shorten it any lower than any less than that. Too. Well, that I, sure. I'm I'm surprised he had to even give you a thirty in the first place. I think it's because I think your ice my I believe it I assume it goes by when it goes by what you are scheduled for. It is it does not I, unless New York is different, which I I feel very strongly without looking it up that it's not it does not go what you're scheduled by. You 
could be scheduled by uh, anything and be sent home two hours in and not need a lunch break. It's what you're worth. So, uh, it is, it's, I, I am, like, I am very reasonably confident it is not by what we're scheduled. Uh, I would say 99 plus. Alright. It definitely isn't for us. We, we, if, if you're only work like, I mean, God forbid they're fucking dicks and don't give a 15. If you, if you work seven and a half hours and no more, uh, we decide we're gonna cut you an early half an hour, we don't have to give you a half hour. Um, typically, since I'm the one who usually manages the breaks anyways, I, uh, that was a weird graphical glitch. Uh, I try to make that they get a half an hour anyways, just in case something changes. But if I knew I was gonna be cutting someone, out of like their second shift per se, I wouldn't give them a half an hour. Maybe a 15 if they needed it, but like, I, I, I wouldn't, there, there'd be no reason to. If I gave him a um, pay, if so I the gave him a and I, and I told him, I didn't tell him, I didn't say exactly uh, to him that he's stupid, but he's kind of stupid. Um, he was trying to get me out before we usually pick up. Cause like, he was getting me out before the dinner rush. Right, that was that his plan anyways. Like seven. Yes, and he's then just stupid. Yeah. Uh, which is, and I also told him, okay. And when I was arguing with him, I told him, okay. So, like, if you give me, if you give me a short break right now, uh, I I basically told him like, he was he he he. Specifics exactly because, like, this was this this went on forever. Also, he was rude to me during it, too. I mean, um, I don't think I'm being I was being unreasonable. Do you do you you it's I it's not I don't think it's it's a fair thing to do to for one thing, someone should have been called off, so there shouldn't have been the fucking problem in the first place, right? But you, I mean. Um, uh, it depends on how you look at it. Some people would be annoyed to be there for that shift. Uh, if I was looking to make money, um, I'm getting a paid half an hour where I don't have to do doesn't... anything, and I get to go home Secret, early. He kept telling me it was about money. He kept telling me this was about money on Tuesday. This is about money. Why does he care? He clearly doesn't care about me getting a Man. break after I'm already forced to come in. Why does he care? Because I'm ar they're already spending more money by just having the two of us come in. Why does he care about, or like, like he Maybe he didn't call you out, and he's he trying to save more money at that care. point. That's happened? That happens all the time. Me. But, actually, no. it's, I wouldn't he's say call, that. Calling someone out flat on Twitter, maybe. Yes, there are a lot of times they, maybe, maybe they find, oh, it's going to pick up, and he was wrong, you know? Shit, shit happens. I've definitely had times where uh, I did call people out, and it turned out to be like, really dead, and I'm like, oops, probably should just call them out. Well, gotta make them work two hours before I can send them home. Usually I'll do training or some shit at that point, anyways, and they hopefully don't work just two hours, or I find someone that wants to go home early. Um, but, yeah. I, the, the only, I, I, and if you, if you took your break the moment you got here, I think I could see, like, a little upset. Upsetty spaghetti on that? It's just it's that's kind of stupid. It, it, on a lot of reasons. Yes, it is. Uh, but like, ultimately, I, I like an hour for you personally. An hour and a half in, you left at like, three and a half hours afterwards. I, 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 you just you just didn't have I to work. I left four and a half, half hours afterwards because I argued with them. Uh, the end result of this 22 minutes of arguing was uh, after 22 minutes, he said, uh, he, he basically said, look, this is just wasting time. Like, uh, like but you can take your break at six and I'll go get there. Uh, he, I, this is about five. It was about 530. He told me because I was I he, he said, I'll tell you what, you can take your break at six and then I, I will give you 35 minutes. I said, fine. I okay. wasn't trying to get the world from him. I, also, I, I wasn't trying to get the world from him. I was just trying to get a little more out of it because... Oh, was he trying to make you do it, uh... What, how, how long he was trying. He was trying to make you take half an hour at 5, eight, at 5, yeah. 
an hour after I got there. And that was going to be my break for the day. I don't know when, I honestly don't, I, I don't know when exactly he planned to send me home, but it sounds like he to do between 6 and 7, which would have been between 2 and 3 hours of my shift. Uh, I was mad because I don't care, I understand, you know, I, you look, you know, I, don't, I understand you're probably looking from a manager perspective, which to, which you, to you, it makes sense. No, I'm, I'm actually, lot, I'm so. looking at this from a worker perspective, too. I From a worker perspective, I think, or, I felt like, or, to, or, the reason I was so mad about this, and, uh, and admit, too, that, like, I wanted to want more from him, was because... From a worker perspective, I felt like I was just being exploited, taken advantage of. Whereas I, I'm basically just being used. To, I basically I was having, I was having some of the, uh, I was having the benefits that I, I, I was offered when I first took this job, taken away from me. Mm -hmm. uh, as well as which I was because I was I was told to get hour breaks. Were you uh, told hour, specifically hour you would get hour breaks, or was there more? I was told hour pay breaks. Uh, when I, the when, stuff that I signed. If you work uh, a certain amount of I, hours. Actually, I don't think I signed it uh, for eight hour shifts. So you're not, but you you work three and a half hours. I think they okay. Keep in mind they've been giving us half hours for all of our eight hour shifts, regardless of. Oh, I'm uh, yeah, but I I I, 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 I agree with you on that one. You just started doing that. Uh, we discussed, I don't know when we discussed that one, but I agreed with you we on that one. That. That. Yeah. But like we're talking about this I, specific it, one where you got half an hour. I don't. Uh, I, I agree. You, you felt less inclined to agree. Yeah. You agree because they were paid. Uh, yeah, but like you, you, you know, whatever. You still promised that you should get your hour break. A thing. Um, I I said that isn't too bad, anyways. But, uh, I mean, that's I don't like in comparison to what I get. Specifically, you're not. They, they, too. I don't remember that was from. That that's what I mean. Like, if you, because it, like, eight hour shifts were the only things that. Fly. You might, uh, like, you're, you're, you're not, you're working a reduced shift, you know, and you're getting, that is a wasp. And you're, get, you're, you're getting, you're getting a break reduced. that you're getting that. paid for. I, and I, I, don't, I don't know, man. It doesn't. From a worker perspective, that doesn't sound too bad. Maybe it's because we don't have like big breaks and stuff like that, but like, I wouldn't. Well, it knows I wouldn't care. It doesn't, it doesn't care whether or not it's paid, it doesn't matter. The well, it does. If, you, if, if I was forced to take like a half an hour, an hour after I got there and I'm leaving in three hours, I'd be pissed because I'm just losing money. Uh, as a worker. Um, but I, 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 I really, I really can't fathom being too upset about this, because, like, the, again, the thing I would be upset about, if anything, is, uh, oh, I have to leave for me, uh, and I want to make money, um, not so much that, uh, oh, they're giving me a half an hour break of the three and a half hours I'm working for some reason. I guess, I guess I could, I guess I could see, I, I'd be upset too if you got, like, if I got my So the other thing too, I Zinger, that I pressured, that I, the, the, the reason that made me so mad too is because I told him, okay, so I take, let's say I take my break an hour into my shift, what do you do when it picks up, and then we're busy until I leave, until I'm supposed to leave, and I get, and I get very hungry because I took my break so fucking early. Uh, well, I like I said. It, so if if I was in this scenario, abiding by Connecticut state laws, if I gave you your third, half an hour paid break, uh, unless I'm gonna give you another lunch later on that actually follows the proper state laws, he, I would have to told, send you home at seven thirty. He told me. Uh, what he told me was, uh, if it gets busy and you end up staying, I'll give you another half hour. And then I told him, okay, when are you gonna fit that in? Because if we're busy, uh, and it's just the two of us, and when am I going to even take a break? When am I going to be able to get away if it's busy? If it's busy, I can't leave because there's only the two of us. If I leave, it won't be one of us. And you can't leave. Uh, he's a temporary manager. and actually run the position. Um, I'll figure it out. When we get there? When uh, we I, get there? Yes, and I told yes, I, that's not good enough because I want the answer. Because I don't want to get there and then just have him tell me, well, I can't get you to get 
that half hour, I promise. Because uh, I, I, then I, I, I gave and you just seemed not to I, I need to give you that half hour. So I'll figure it out what when you we get do? there. How, how, yes, if you cannot tell me any possible way it, it, to, to give me a break in that scenario, and that's half hour, because that's the likely scenario to happen that would keep that, that's, that's what would cause me to have to stay in the first place. What is, like, what do you want? Like, what are you going to do? You're just not going to give it to me. Derek, I've been in those situations and I've always figured something out. I'm very anal about Yes, but you're not him, Zick. You're he's stupid. De but, I mean, like, you, you, you're just... You're you're, 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 so, Derek, uh, how are you going to get yourself a break in that situation? That's not my job. I'm not a manager. That's not a good enough answer for me. I need an answer. Like, That's not my but, job to give you answers in here. I'm not manager. Sure. But you no, but what I want I'm what not, I want is like I, no, I well it. say you say this is your job. What are you gonna do? How are you gonna give the break? It's not my job, Zeke. I'm that my question is what if it is your job? So this is your job right now. It's my job, Zinger. What are you gonna I do? Not fucking send out people hope so uh and make it and leave my leave my myself into this situation. If what? it's my job, Zinker, I'm going to send back to I'm gonna, gonna keep two people there. I'm gonna set them on break. I'm gonna send or send one on break uh, shortly before the rush begin, and the other one went uh, or, or like they probably went the rush to begin because one or, when the rush begins, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not half an hour into the rush. What happens if the rush happens a half an hour early? I worked there long enough to know it's not going. Uh, that's not good enough. What if it does happen? That, okay, if, it, if, it, if the rush happens early, then uh, Zinger, this, this isn't my this isn't my job. This isn't my right now. You so, are this it, manager, and just, like in this hypothetical situation. So I want you. I, I want to know. Okay, Zinker, if uh, the rush happens do. early, at the at this point, Zinker, if the rush is happening early. I probably would still, or I probably wouldn't be with the other girl home, like, home yet, so I'd still have three people. Right. So I'd have three people, so I have to. Well, when, when were you originally run. planning on sending that's the girl home? Because that's standard. I was probably going to send her home at 7. Right, 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 when did, and when did the rest start? Soon, that's all. 7. I was going to say, I'd send her. The rush doesn't. If the rush isn't too big, I'm not gonna send her home. Wait. So, so, it, her, so, it, what about her break though? When did she get her break? Did she get in? When did she get in? This apple? She got in earlier. Yeah, she came in. She, she's gonna go on. She's gonna go on break at 6:30. She'll get back right before the rush would begin. If it's okay. Not, if it's, what if, if the rush starts at 6:30? I've got two people here, Zinker. I've oh, got you're right. Here, you're right. Okay. Fair. I'm. Not send the, the, my answer to this problem is I'm not sending everybody home uh, so fucking early. I understand when to cut hours, but you have to, but you also have to you have to sometimes you have to keep people when nothing's happening. So when something does happen, you can handle. But you, the thing is, you don't know this if you the problem is you don't to send us home. So we can handle it. There's three of us. There. I know we can. Handle it. That's that's literally more people than we ever than we ever have working. I'm, I'm talking about in this this guy's shoes. Like, like it, you, you told me that answer wasn't good enough. If I if, if I put myself in this guy's shoes, I'll figure it's it like out. I told him the answer is good enough. The scenario that he described, there'd only be one person in the rush, and that's not that 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 doesn't apply. Two people in this two people are sufficient to handle a rush, and I'm. Three people. The point of having three people on staff is to, uh, is if, if it's crazy business, we need to uh, or mainly, it's usually so. What, so we can, I just we, realized we can you're out. so quiet, and the audio on this is so loud. What the fuck? Why is it so loud? Why are you so quiet? Especially when you're this upset. <laughs> I, I, I'm talking right into the mic. I know. I, I, I'm not saying it's, uh, like, on you. I know. I know you're not saying. I know. It's uh, just... It's just weird. I, I, I The solution is up to not send people home so early. But... Because... You, you while gotta save money, because you're he not making he, that much money. He doesn't... He doesn't work there, Zinker. He doesn't... He, he doesn't... 
he's not or like he's not experienced with having to compensate for a, a rush later in the ship. He's not he, he like this is the problem is that he doesn't know he's, he's not handling it well because he doesn't he does not manage that. I don't think he does his own restaurant well to be honest. I watched you today. I watched the dude uh, deal with uh, uh, customers, uh, and uh, he was the first person to get irate. I mean, yeah. Uh, in like bad. a case of like an, of but a, like, of an angry I, I'm still, yeah, like, I'm still, was, like, I'm still isolating it to like this scenario. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what, so, what in this scenario I haven't answered. I think I solved all of this problem. The problem you give me. The only problem, thing I, problem I haven't solved is I, I'm costing a little more money, uh, but I, I'm costing a little more money to ensure that we have problems. Because when we have problems, so here, here's when we the have less here, Here's the deal, Derek. Uh, you're, you're solving the problem that I haven't solved the lunch problem had there been a rush that was necessary, but you got sent home early, right? I I ended up getting sent home at 8.30 after, uh, because uh, that was that was when we determined there is no rush. And that's because I that was at my it, that was at my recommendation. Uh, because I argued with them for, for forever and the only reason he gave me the only reason he gave me a game place when I argued with him is because he gave in because I was wasting time. And I knew I was wasting time. Uh, that was one of my tactics. Uh, but, How do I fight uh, this guy? Oh. I, um, but the only reason I was there later is because that was at my that was at that was because I, I made I ensured that I uh, by or if, if things went the way he wanted them to, I would have been out of there before there was any potential for a rush to happen. And no rush did happen. But he even agreed when I was talking when I talked was talking with him that there was no way of knowing for sure. Because you don't know for sure. You don't know for sure, it's true. It's a little different uh, from stuff, but I don't know, that's yes. At the same time, uh, when I when I work, there's definitely times where I'm like, yeah, it's not gonna get busy. And if it were to get busy, I would oh, make I, sure someone gets a break. I, I, I'll call someone in if I have time. to, even if it's stupid. But like, there, like there've been times I, where well, I've been screwed over from work from like too much call outs and stuff like that. Stuff where it's like, well, I wish I, I had like. Stuff like that. But, I worked my entire shift by myself today, uh, and which is. Uh, uh, also, someone and the, the person before me had to, or had to stay just a little bit later because they didn't plan for the overlap. Uh, so in, part of a, and, and the other person, I think. part but, of managing is trying is is figuring out like what you're going to actually need. And uh, in he terms does of not when schedule it. Oh. Uh, Derek, but oh, he, it, he, I, he, you just don't have a point here because he was right, wasn't he? That's ultimately that's ultimately I, what I hear. Essentially, is that he was in fact right about the rush in the first place, and it, you got you guys. As someone who's a singer, as someone who, as the boy who, who has worked there longer than his manager, there, I think they're like, especially, in, especially in recent in these weeks. Sundays have been. It was a Sunday. Sundays have been in a mess. Uh, Sundays have been all over the place. Some Sundays have been absolutely bad, and then some of them have been absolutely nothing. Some of them start absolutely nothing, right? And then turn but... into absolutely mad. Here, here's... That's how things go. You have to plan for that. You have to plan for that to happen. You can't just leave someone. You can't just leave a single employee hanging there, especially when you, as a manager, can't even help them out if you need them. I just, I don't, I don't, I, I it, it's all, it's, it's also because you're like you're a biased. Which, uh, like, I want to believe, like, well, I do believe you because you're my pal. He, mu he must be incompetent, but, like, I, 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 not, I get, I get... One of the things he said to me was, uh, this is how things are in the in the adult world, and that is not to know him. Um, I, because, like, he had, he had, he clearly had absolutely no respect for me, thinking he has, or thinking he has, uh, uh, 
far more experience to completely, like, to just completely ignore what I have to say. Which, uh, which bothered me, because as I understand, he, he has been doing, he has been, a, he has, he, he does have a lot of experience, but that doesn't, that doesn't mean, uh, he, Now, he doesn't I, I don't work in food, Derek, but in the yes. scenario that I'm imagining, uh, I probably would have enjoyed your advice. Um, I don't work food, so I can only apply it to what it's like to do an attraction thing. Thereby, you know, it, it, I can... it, the scenario doesn't like equally line up, so I want to note that. But like, I understand managers tend to ignore their employees. That's not it. Because That's they're, not they're, at all what I said. Because the employees don't know every, or, or, or because the employees, oh, the employees probably don't... have a, a, you have probably. You have more perspective in the over, or in an overall view. I have perspective on my job specifically and what I deal with every day. I know what I know what what what, what I know. What, I've been there long enough. I know what causes problems and what doesn't. And what he was going to do could he could very well cause a problem. And it's also just very. It's also just. It's just like, that's the other thing too. Is it's just like he was just like like all of what he was doing was just for the point. And I get that. I get that. You know, it's a business. You don't care. Like you care about money. Where money is king. You care about money for the business. But like, you just, there's you have to maintain a balance between them. But you know, treating your employees with any sort of decency and and you know trying to maximize your, your or, or try you know try to minimize costs. I understand that, but I think the combination of everything that he was doing was just or was just flat out disrespectful to the employees. Uh, and a poor, uh, a poor dis, a poor dis, or just decision overall for planning for or, or like. So uh, I, I just let don't me think let me let me fill you in what's kind of happening at my work recently. Um, so we're kind of open up uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, um, four four to eight, uh, and we're only open up like for like a couple attractions because it's just not that busy. Priorly, we had uh, three people outside working these attractions, one of which is go kart, so they're on their own world. Uh, no, sorry, four four people, uh, and then one for each of the other three attractions. Plus one emissions person. Uh, and it was decently busy. Um, and stuff. There would be people around each attraction. Um, last week, they switched. So there's just... No, two weeks ago, they switched so there's just one person outside. Uh, not including go-karts. There's one at go-karts as well. Because go-karts is on the other side of the park, essentially. Um, and then there's one emissions person. Uh, plus me, the MOD. Uh... And, you know, a lot of people weren't too happy about that. Um, including mm -hmm. me, because, uh, if people try to go to every spot at once, it's, uh, it's just, uh, you know, it's just, it's, it's just too much. You know, like, it, you, you can't, people can't be there at once, because there's only one person out there. Of course, I could go out and help if that happens, so, not a big deal. Uh, I, I personally prefer one more person out there, truthfully. But, uh... That, that was the cost saving measures taken from us. And uh, especially on a Monday or a Tuesday, it's like dead as fuck and it's not really a problem. Uh, but there is that like small little rush. Uh, apparently, there's a sword that's floating on the screen. Anyhow, um, to, la last week, uh, they decided that not only am I MOD, uh, I'm also mm -hmm. the register person and it's just one person outside and one person on uh go-karts so total of three people uh now that's a little ridiculous uh because mm -hmm. uh um if something happens how am i really supposed to go out and fix it if i'm stuck at the register if someone shows up uh yes i was particularly you have that problem at my work too it was specifically problematic uh, because I mean, if I ha if I if I schedule this one, be a problem, truthfully. But it was only pro it's mostly problematic because I can't even have the outdoor person like come watch to register. 
Because the attractions we have open uh, for that person outside, those three ones, they don't really need supervision. They're batting cages, a playscape, and mini golf. You're just there to hand them things, essentially. Um, and only for two of those, you have to hand them things in the first place because of COVID alone. So, uh, that, you know, uh, and the other one, you just are giving them a wristband and you really don't have to supervise them. Because, uh, mm -hmm. um, and honestly, I was a little upset about it first and I, I still don't think it's perfect, but honestly, it's so fucking dead. Uh, it's not a mm -hmm. problem. It was like slightly a problem the first day simply because a group of rowdy kids went to the cages at the same time as someone went to mm -hmm. mini golf at the same time as someone was coming in to go to the register and that was the only problem i've had with this uh i didn't have a problem with it today which i worked it because it was easy except for the fact that i kept trying to go get my coat that's some whole other different thing you know uh, i get a lot of team members complain about the impact. like oh there should be at least one more person and Personally, I do think there should be... No, not even at least one more person. They think there should be more. But I do think there should be at least one more person. It's a little annoying that I can't assist. And especially if something big, bad were to happen. It could be kind of annoying. But you know, ultimately, what, it, what I'm getting at is... It's fine. And even if it weren't fine, I'd figure it out. I can figure it out. Um, you know, I... You can actually do things at your job. This manager cannot do things. I mean, sure. I don't know why they have a useless manager. I can't really argue. Uh, he can't on do that. anything for my job specifically. Manager. He can do things for for most of the other play parts. He cannot do things for mine. <sighs> and this is this is a problem with some with a bunch of the managers. They can't do things for my job. Um, put on the show. I can't believe this story is going on. I guess we're meeting the main bad guy, Briar. I also, so I will say, I deal with being alone a lot by my or at, at my work. I did at my other job too, at the golf course. I was by myself a lot. I'm perfectly fine when I'm by myself for the most part, <laughs> unless just like something crazy no, happens. This is the point. I may be evil and I may work for the devil, but you, sir, are a jerk. That's your manager. <laughs> yeah. Uh, That's it. This just got so, personal. Cool sword. Um. Also, uh, do I fly I while using say. it? When do I get my scythe? That's what I really want. Uh, it might also help if, like, if you. Have more context for like how as we've re since we've reopened they've consistently been taking more and more things away from all of us yeah. and making things Master more and more trigger. difficult kind of annoying that's kind we kind have of what, to do so much more kind of what's more work, work and the they haven't given us any sort of support for doing it uh, they literally like i've i've gone i several times have asked so if uh, i have to so for my hour of cleaning if i have to it's like if an hour is coming up and i have a I have a constant line, and I can't go. I can't stop working to go do my cleaning. Uh, because, uh, am I supposed to tell everybody, hold up for five minutes? I have to clean. Uh, everybody, everybody in line, you have to wait. You have to wait until I'm done. Or am I supposed to just not clean? Because I get, because I'll get yelled at for both. Well, yeah. I mean, yes. But uh, uh, they will tell if I told, if I told everybody to stop. It's uh, it's uh, clearly defined. Go you ahead. tell everybody to stop, and you go clean your thing, and then you go back and help them. Uh, um, every time I've asked managers, which I'm supposed to do, they've told me, I don't, I haven't gotten an answer either. Did this freeze? Uh, I think it did. That's weird. Oh. Yeah, I know. I get the float now. Anyhow, um, Derek, you have like so twenty seconds to uh. Say the rest of what we want to say. Go for it. They basically they they keep being really really shitty and taking and making things really like shitty for us and like um, so part of also why I'm just so admin on trying to, like, trying to get like reasonable like breaks for like the hours I work and everything. 
it's because uh, they're already making everything else shitty. I don't want to give like I, and I, time's I, I up. they're making everything else. Next shitty. time on Spell uh, Tense, everyone. And I'm gonna I'm gonna get what I Dang. can out of it. Uh, next time on Spell Tense, everyone, we will do another session of this at some point in November at least, because I want to play a little I'm bit still more. Still at work. This went uh this went uh, a little bit longer than I intended, so uh, we'll see you guys it's, it's next time. Too. What's up? Pumpkin. It fits for November too, because pumpkin. Pumpkin season, something. Uh, but yeah. Harvest. We'll uh, we'll uh, we'll come back to this. I want to do one more. Uh, so, uh, next time on Spelton. Bye bye.